funny. Thank you. Oh my God, I love you. Meet Norman Lear, yes. Oh, How are you? Oh, I'm so. <laughs> he was. <yeah. laughs> I'm so strong. He was cracking up. We're both cracking oh, up watching you in your Hooters oh, spill. I love it. This so, is, I'm between two legends. No, right not the same. Not the same at all. Oh my God. What is I'll you? take it, but totally a lie. Um, your accent reminds me of home. I always love when I run into you. Like, yeah. I, it just feels. So, where did you grow up? I grew up in North, North Carolina. Carolina. Uh, my mom made me be a debutante. That's how Southern I am. You're a I Southern am. Belle. I am. You're a Southern Belle. Yeah. Wait, what did that entail? What did you have to do? Oh my gosh. I was like, what happened? You are, <laughs> you are so fancy right what now. Yeah, I had to wear a white Oh my God, gown. you were from like the bricks. I was from the sticks, girl. We didn't have anything like that. Listen, yeah. but, but we had no money. I uh, That was the thing. My mom had been one and then we lost all our money. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> And uh, you know, gambling. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and then uh, she still wanted me to carry on this tradition of being uh, uh, pretending to be rich. And then go to etiquette classes. Um, That's amazing. Etiquette classes. Yeah, I had, to, I had to learn how to be a lady. Um, <laughs> no, I didn't know. I didn't know. I had to. I like, don't. Dab my face with a napkin. I, you just, you know, you can't wipe your face like a monster. <laughs> and uh, obviously, I didn't attend etiquette classes. <laughs> All right. Well, I still to this day, uh, people are like, you should never eat in public because it's not great. <laughs> <laughs> so what did your family think whenever you told them they were gay? Because being from the South, that is not always an easy conversation. Yeah, I mean, I, I, uh, I think my mom, for her, she just like, she didn't want my life to be harder mm -hmm. than, than what life can be, you know? Already. And, and, uh, already. But, you know, we have this really poignant moment. I talk about it in my special where I told her I was gay and she was like stone-faced. And I was like, oh, man, does she like hate me now? And uh, she was like... We are going to Hooters. <laughs> and they, uh, I was like, what? And so that was, her, what? that was her way of being like, I accept you. Let's go to Hooters. <laughs> and, uh, and then when I told my dad, he was like, you know, uh, he's a very typical Southern man. It's very simple. And he's like, okay, uh, all right. Well, do uh, you want us to buy you a men's blazer? <laughs> uh, or, a, or a top hat? <laughs> what? <laughs> Lesbians don't wear top hats. I love it in, in his mind. Like, if yeah. women like men, you, you want to dress like a man. For like sure. He's like, like OK, let's get you that top hat and blazer. <laughs> That's kind of amazing, though, being from the South that they were accepting. Because I know a lot yeah. of, I have a lot of friends, actually, or a few friends, that mm -hmm. they didn't say, let's go to Hooters. They said, let's go to church. And they wanted to pray for him and, like, 100%. change him straight or something. And I'm like, I don't think your prayer is going to make him straight. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah. It, so it's, it can be hard for people. 100%. I mean, it, you know, we've come a long way, but there's still plenty of people yeah. who, you know, are disowned by their families. And I, I'm so lucky that my family. Just, they're awesome. Yeah, they were yeah. just like, we love you no matter what. You are no different than you were yesterday. Oh, I mean, that's yeah. That's so good. So that's so good. Yeah. So you you talk about speaking of Hooters, you talk about Hooters in your Netflix special um, a lot. So like, are they are they close to your heart? Because I have an in. <laughs> if you, you do. Well, I don't know if you're aware, but uh -huh. I just won The Voice recently with Jake Hoot. I do know that. And yeah. Hooters is all about some Jake Hoot. Hooters was so supportive. All about yes, I'm just saying there. Yes, he's. I have been talking about Hooters my entire career. You just needed the voice. You I just know. needed the platform I needed of the voice. The platform. I was even a Hooters waitress, not for real, for comedy back in the day. <laughs> I wore the outfit and everything. Uh, listen, they wear pantyhose, so they are keeping it classy. <laughs> and uh, they legit. <laughs> Are so good. They're, they're, so good. And their I tickle talk, bitties are out, but the pantyhose, uh, super classy. It's. <laughs> I talk about them in my special, and still they're just like, huh? And so I'm doing whatever I can to keep Hooters' legacy alive. And we're gonna, we are gonna Where get do we find this your special? partnership. Is that uh, my special is on Netflix right now. It's on Netflix. Yeah. She's hilarious. Look for it. I would love for you to watch it. I and if you like it. Hooters, you might like I the show. Do it. Good. <laughs> 
I know you're busy. You're creating <laughs> lots of shows and TV. Well, we can do one together. Please. Oh my gosh, please. I would love okay. that. Can you call it Hooters? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you, okay. It can be about owls, whatever. Yeah. Um, do you do you have any other plans, like big plans for 2020? Oh man. Are you gonna get married? I am gonna. I, I my fiance is here in the audience I'm somewhere. Like, yes, I'm like, where? She's ah, over there. Ah. Hi, Jack. She's way in the corner. The actual yeah. well, furthest point from us. <laughs> like, no, nobody puts baby in the corner. <laughs> Apparently they do. <laughs> So y'all yeah, are gonna get we're married. Gonna get married, hopefully. Uh, I mean, that's the plan, right? We're, yeah. we're still getting married. <laughs> you still uh, love me, right? I think in May or June, and uh, yeah, I, I'm very excited. I make uh, vision boards every year. Oh. Uh, I know my buddy Ron Funches was on your show. Yes. He brought his vision board. He did. I didn't want to copy. Uh, I didn't want to copy him, but I have. I have my own visions. Yeah. And, uh, your own visions. <laughs> Not crazy at all. No. Uh, I uh, I really am hoping in 2020. Uh, I mean, I want people to watch my special for sure. Uh, but I'm I'm really wanting to get. Um, a, I put it on my Instagram. Uh, t one of those. Uh, there's a Tom Cruise cake. I don't know if you guys. Is it like his face? Everyone's or? like, what? <laughs> uh, so Tom Cruise, uh, whenever he works with somebody or he uh, or someone's done something for them. Uh, he they he sends them this coconut cake from Doan's Bakery, and I went down this rabbit hole of Google, and learned everything I could about this cake. <laughs> and I, I was like, cake. all I want in life is for Tom Cruise to send me a Tom Cruise coconut cake. Um, That's all I want. <laughs> well, okay, Fortune. Your 2020 vision board dreams are about to come true, slightly. Okay. Um, yeah, because I don't, I'm not that cool. So, you know, You're Tom Cruise isn't here, but we got you the cake. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 look at the cake. Okay. So, okay. So, here's your official. What? I don't want to touch it. Wait, then, oh, okay. So okay. Good. I want, oh my God. I want okay. Mr. Lear to have it. Okay, the first piece. The first piece. Yeah. The first piece. Okay, there you go. Yes. I just, oh my. I just served Norman Lear a cake. Do you need me <laughs> to making sing a song? I can't you? do that. Yes. Okay, I'm just Exa Hey, I have a Vegas special. Don't you threaten me with a good time. Please. You, you come on out and sing anytime you want. I can play the triangle. Okay. I want to, wait, I want to, why did I give myself yeah, a piece? Yeah, cake, girl. What are you doing? Let's see Tom Cruise, Tom. what your cake is like. Tom Cruise. We thank Tom Cruise for this? Uh, I mean, I, I, Tom, I, Tom has no idea this is happening. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that's not all. Y'all are all getting some cake too. Do you want to? <laughs> this is good. Really good. It's good. What? I'm gonna take one more bite. Yeah. Right. It's so good. It's really good. Yeah. We don't need Tom Cruise. We can buy our own cakes. Are you guys done? Are you guys done? I have to be done because I have to talk right now. Oh, okay. But trust that will end up in my dressing room. <laughs> yeah, I'm done too. Me too. <laughs> All right, well, you can watch Fortune Beamster Sweet and Salty on Netflix now. And don't miss her weekly podcast, Sincerely Fortune.